Tonight on KETK News at 10 o'clock, the Vietnam Wall is one of the most iconic monuments in Washington, D.C. But many people will never get the chance to see this piece of history in person. That's why for 28 years, a replica of the memorial has made its way across the country. KETK's Garrett Sanders joins us live in Henderson to tell us about the wall making its way into East Texas. Hi, Garrett. Jan is here at Raider Funeral Home in Henderson. Now, though it's half the size of the original located in Washington, D.C., as we hear from one man, the memories it brings back are just as powerful. John Hill has never seen the Vietnam Memorial in Washington, D.C. in person. But every time memorials such as this make their way into East Texas, John Hill is there. For the people's names are on it. That's why I go. You know, their names are here and mine's not. And I go to honor them. And to honor them. This Vietnam Army vet made the drive from Nacogdoches to Henderson. I go every chance I can to the moving wall, and I'm thankful to the people here that uh, went out of their way to bring it. People like Charles Rader. This opportunity to see the moving wall is, a, is an opportunity for people in East Texas that may never get a chance to go to Washington, D.C. and see the original. And like the original, this wall, these names are connected to those who served. It's been 40 years, but uh, it seems like yesterday sometimes. And it'll always be a part of our lives. And those soldiers that gave their lives and those that served that are still alive today never got thanked. And I think if we can just remember those men and women that died, uh, keeping it simple, just seeing the names. Names etched onto a wall to be thanked and remembered by men like John Hill. Just, it means a lot to see it and to see those people that gave it all. They gave it all. Now this morning, the Henderson Lions football team actually helped him set this up. Now when the job was done, Charles Rader told me that he tried to go thank them, but instead they thanked him to let them be a part of something that could impact men so powerfully, men like John Will. Reporting live in Henderson, Garrett Sanders, KTK News.